Hi there, welcome to this unboxing video of the Notebook Zero Movies New Print Magazine, which I hadn't expected to do an unboxing, but I only just got the the package the other day, and it seemed I started opening it, and then I realised the amount of effort that's gone into the packaging seemed a bit of a shame not to open it up. So they're going to be doing more notebooks soon, but this one was exclusively to people who were already subscribed to a movie. As you can tell, I'm a fan. So inside we have, I haven't looked at anything beyond this point. So. This is all the contributors to the magazine, or this issue anyway. And it's really nice, very solid box. But obviously the box is not the important thing. The important thing is here, the notebook. That's what it looks like. And it is a chunky boy. But also with this issue came this tote bag, which is nice, it's got a notebook. I guess it shows that you were one of the first people to get this issue. But having a look at it now, I don't think it's anywhere near the quality of the five referral notebook when you refer five people to a movie. This one's got a much thicker material. So it's much nicer. It's got print on both sides, which are cool. This one is a lot smaller. The blue isn't as poppy. Isn't that Derek Jarman blue? It's kind of much more darker and it's much more cheaper and much more smaller. But hey ho, a free tote is a free tote. In terms of the rest of the magazine, I don't know what's in it. They advertised a lot of work, a lot being talked about when selling this notebook, which is why I decided to buy it in the end. Let's have a look. I'll give a quick flick through first to see that it's very colourful. It's clearly got a very nicely typeset design. And then, the, so the contents stand out in this way very weird way what have we got we've got tropical milady a cinema going dispatch from bangkok alone together opening movement editor's note gathering screening singing in the dark festivals returning to theaters printing cinema the flavor of curry over rice stuff about ozu films mike lee and emma seligman in conversation lots about different filmmakers I'm not seeing movies on eight and a half. Not my favorite film, not my favorite Fellini. So there's a couple of things about physical media, such as the stuff about festivals, virtual and physical, the stuff about returning to theaters, printing cinema. It's clear that movie is trying to sell a kind of more physical experience. They've been very much a streaming site that deliver really good curated works, but they are moving into releasing their own films. They've got these issues of this magazine and they're now doing physical media as well for some of their stuff. Let's just flip to, so some of the interesting ones are more the ones that are labeled a bit unsure what that's about. So Seeing in the Dark, which is page 32. Let's have a look at that one together. So this one's very much a big print. Moving, movie going memories that travel around the world, selected from delightful out of print anthology of audience anecdotes, anomalies and inspirations. Oh, so this is very lovely. This is really nice. I wonder if there's that's very nice. I really love anecdotes of cinema going. Although sometimes you go, wow, people are pricks. <laughs> There's some lovely images of 
theater screens. There's even an intermission page, which... Dear reader. So this one, this article seems to be about the making of this magazine. Dear reader, in the summer of 2021, his notebook gradually started taking shape where he approached luminaries in the film world, including filmmakers, festival directors, editors, and critics, and asked them to put pen to paper and send in letters focusing on personal stories and sentiments about reading, and perhaps even making or contributing to print film magazines. By reproducing their inspiring letters sent from around the world, we wish to pay homage to what came before, to the voices and publications that managed to remain relevant over time or have renewed relevance today in order to guide us toward the future of film magazines, film criticism, and film itself. Here's to more letter writing and more magazine editing. So we've got Annabelle B Brady Brown, Sean Baker, this letter is. It's Annabelle. It's quite nice, you got this. Lovely, Molly Haskell. It's nice to actually see letters written out. I love letters. So I, when I was flicking through, I did notice that like there's text on really small text on quite colourful backgrounds and really small text here, and that is kind of like it's not going to be great to take this movie magazine travelling or like to take it on a commute. I'm gonna to need to sit and maybe with a magnifying glass. It's not great for someone who is dyslexic, even though it looks lovely. This one is about cinema exhibitors. Um, I'd love to hear from any of you who also got this magazine. Uh, the BFI Rubin Library, which is very much a place that you should visit if you enjoy cinema and you wanna look up certain things. I looked up, I was looking up for an essay once about Haosu, which was at the time, there wasn't much about Haosu, and there was a couple of articles in the BFI Rubin Library. It wasn't super helpful, I had a couple of quotes I could pull from, but it was still surprising to find that in the library. And it is that kind of experience and that physical experience of going somewhere or having a magazine is really really important oh wow i love that i love this music is this about the music of eight and a half oh by the the music in eight and a half is great that's really exciting lovely posters to see we all share on Tumblr now, but it's nice to see them printed and have them. Oh, Wes. Oh, Wes. Wesie Anderson. See, I don't mind this font so much on this because of this paper. This colour is a bit more readable for me, but it still is a similar size. It's very lovely. I don't know what quite the content of the magazine is yet and the quality of it but I assume with movie just like the notebook online it's very very good um, and the quality of the actual magazine itself it feels great I do like this design of the spot that being an actual spine and then this cover wraps around so you know it feels like it's durable it looks lovely I'm sure it's got lovely stuff. There's some font that's maybe a bit too small. Um, and it looks like there's some interesting features, even though with notebook you kind of expect something a bit more, maybe a bit more learned, like learning a bit more different things. I feel like a lot of film culture sites and criticism is talking about the physical space especially during this pandemic so but I'm sure the people they've got to speak about it are excellent uh, I'm really looking forward to reading this actually and if I enjoy it I'll definitely be buying the next issue because 
It's absolutely lovely. Lovely to hold. Thanks for watching.